In this video, we're going to analyze to include the bill of material or not to include the bill of material and to tackle EPM. That is the question. And the nuances of why we would include the bill of material, for instance, for an issue for construction package, um, and then for an IFA or issue for approval package, we might not include the bill of material. So let's take a look at that. All right, we're going to start out in tackle structures. I've got one drawing here in the drawing list that's just an assembly drawing and uh, it has multiple quantity and we're just doing one assembly drawing to keep this simple uh, for example's sake. Now if I come in here to the revision we'll see that this is actually set up as a Reve so most likely what I would be doing if I was going to be submitting for approval. Now on the fabrication side over in Techly EPM what I'm going to show you here is that I might not want actually the bill of materials to come across in the export here uh, for Techly EPM. And that's because I'm really only processing the drawings as a fabricator and sending them out for approval. I'm not really going to do any preliminary ordering of uh, part material or anything like that. So in some cases, I may just want the drawings to come across so that way I can import that into the project in Techly EPM. So let me show you how this is actually done. If I come in here to the uh, Applications and Components panel and I just type in Tecla EPM, you'll see that there is the Tecla EPM plugin. Now I can double click on this and it will open it up. And so when you see all the settings here, it looks like quite a bit to, to go through, but it's actually not too much. Um, in reality, what you would most likely be doing in a submittal is you're gonna say selected drawings from the drawing list, which means you have the erection drawings and assembly or multi-drawings multi that you're gonna be submitting for approval. And so in this particular case here, the big difference or the big changes versus a fabrication release is I'm gonna uncheck this include bill of material. Now, there most likely won't be single part drawings either, so you could technically uncheck that. If you are doing uh, erection drawings in your submittal and multi-drawings, then you would include that here, as well as include drawing UDAs. Now, since no bill materials are technically being exported, I could really uncheck on the bolts, um, part UDA information, as well as studs, since I'm not really exporting that data. Now, I do want to use the drawing files uh, from the folder for any of the, the plot files and stuff that I printed for this drawing, as well as GA drawings or multi drawings. And I don't necessarily need to export any CNC files. So what I might do is if I know that this is the typical settings where I want to not include the bill of material, I might say for approval. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and uh, turn off the auto generation of this file just so that way it makes a little bit more sense. And I'm just going to say for approval so we can see these two different packages over in Techly EPM. And so let's do zip. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and say, uh, we have the drawing selected. We'll say export to Techly EPM and the package is created. Now let's go ahead and process a for fabrication package. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the revision on this and we will say for fabrication. Okay, and then I can just fill in information here. And we'll just say create, so this is a rev zero. All right, now, and in this particular case, um, I would print out the new drawings. I might export the CNC files or just have the tool automatically generate that using saved away settings. Um, and then, you know, I am going to include the bill of material this time, include single part drawings, and I'll include bolts, studs, everything. Basically, I'm still going to do selected drawings from the drawing list, but this time I'm going to include all of the fabrication level data that I want to include in this. So now once I've got these settings all set up, I just changed the name of this to for fabrication. I did a save as up here um, and I printed this uh, latest and greatest um, PDF file as rev zero. Um, so that way it's in the plot files folder and will be uh, basically incorporated into the export. All right. So once I've got my drawing selected, I just say export to Tecla, P, uh, Tecla EPM. And now I have two packages here. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna showcase is that I'm gonna actually unzip these so we can take a look at what's going on. So I'm gonna say extract all, and I'll just extract it here to this particular folder. Now, there's the drawings. So there's the PDF files that were soaked up. And then also um, we'll see here that there is an XML file. So I'm gonna open up this XML file and you can open this up in Notepad. I just happen to have Visual Studio on my computer here because I'm a programmer, so I can actually see this in a little bit easier formatting, but you can also open this up in Notepad. So if you just right clicked and said open with, you can choose Notepad or select some text editor to open that up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back in here. And when you look at this, really it's just a structured XML file. And so we have the project information here. Um, we have project files, uh, which includes drawings. And then here you can see that there's all of this drawing data. 
Notice that there is no bill of material information. So there's an assembly drawing and then just a drawing and any excluded drawings might also be in here. So if you had a bunch of other drawings in the drawing list that uh, were not included in the package, then it would just say, hey, these are excluded drawings. So this is exactly what I want. Only drawing data to be going across in this approval XML file. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, for fabrication. So if I come back up here, we'll go to this for fabrication zip. We'll just extract all, extract that here to our uh, folder and we'll open up the for fabrication XML. Again, the drawings are here. So that way those can be soaked up into Tech EPM. We have all of the uh, CNC file exports as well. So those can also be imported into Tech EPM. but we will open up the fabrication XML here and we'll see that we have drawing data up at the top. But then if I uh, actually close that group or that category, now you'll see that there is also the assembly and part data. So this is the bill of material. So when you uncheck that include bill of material option here, so when you turn this on or off, then essentially this is going to exclude the bill of material. So none of that assembly and part data comes across and this will have the assembly and part data come across. Now let's go over to Tech EBM and see what this uh, looks like. Okay, so let's actually take a look at importing this into Tech EPM. We'll go to File, Import, we'll go to Production Control and XML. Now I'm gonna browse here to the for approval package and then we'll say Import. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and change the job number here. Um, we'll just change this to five, um, just so that way we can save this as another example. And I am going to create the project management project. So when I go through this and um, it says that everything's been imported, We'll first go to the production control job. So I'm gonna open up the 002 underscore five and you'll see that there are no bill of materials in here. And this is exactly what I wanted. So if I'm going out for approval, I'm, uh, I don't want any materials being in here so that way the shop doesn't accidentally nest this or, um, you know, or molt it and order material um, and it doesn't uh, you know fabricate anything uh, prematurely. So I'll go to project management and then I'll go to 002 underscore five. We'll go to the drawing log and we'll go ahead and take a look at the detailed drawings here. And we're gonna see that uh, B6 Rev A, and we can see the revision information, and we even set the approval status information here, and all of this has come across, and we're good to go. All right, now let's do the fabrication import. So I'm gonna say File, Import, Production Control XML. We'll then browse to the For Fabrication package, and I'm gonna import this into the same job that we did the approval, so that way it updates everything. So we'll say Save. And here I'm gonna say add and replace. And we'll just use these settings here. This is basically where, uh, because we now have assemblies and parts coming in, there are uh, part and assembly UDAs that I would uh, map here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this. And I'm just gonna say a no to that. Now, because I uh, changed the job number on the uh, Tech EPM side versus what came across in the CNC files, it's just giving me a warning. So I'm gonna say okay to that. And then we are all set. Now. If I come in here and go to production control and we go to that underscore five project, we're gonna see that now bill of materials come across. And we've got a approval status here um, that is set to IFF for in for fabrication. So essentially, um, you know, this is where I would want all the bill of materials in because I'm gonna order the material, I'm gonna do my production tracking, my cut lists, et cetera. And in project management side, when we go into uh, that particular job, we'll go back to the drawing log, go to uh, uh, detail drawings here and we'll see in the list that there is a rev zero so here we've got a rev a that came in and then we have a rev zero for fabrication now it looks like because i uh, had set the date uh, i forgot to change the date to a later date here uh, for the fabrication that the rev a is seeing being seen as the current revision so that's probably what's going on there um, but essentially, I see that both of those imported in and my approval status of IFF in for fabrication has come across. So this just shows you a little bit about sometimes, you know, you may want to include the bill of materials or not include the bill of materials. And the reasons why are because you may or the fabricator may want to prevent uh, material that isn't really ready to be ordered or isn't approved yet from being fabricated or worked on. And so this allows you to have that flexibility and control. If you found this content useful, please subscribe to our channel and press the alerts button to be notified when we upload new content.